Hey guys, although I love this story and uh, we spent last four videos on it, um, we're going to wrap up uh, 1 Samuel 30, um, the story of Ziglag. And um, one of the things that I want to just encourage you with, and I think this is the big theme for all of it, is that don't let any defeat of yesterday, whether it be your fault or not, whether you were out like David doing the work of God and you know, like uh, something happened back home, or maybe it was a battlefield that you were standing on and you lost that battle. Don't let the defeats of yesterday determine the battles of tomorrow. So, you know, like he God, God steps in, he's, you know, like whenever he's consulted, he tells, you know, that David, hey, look, you're going to win, you're going to overcome, right? And he goes out and he redeems all the stuff that he's, that they lost. But if he would have stayed, if he would have let that defeat and he be the thing that he thought about, if he would have let the defeat be the deciding thing in his life, then he would have never had the ability to find the redemption that God offered. In the same way in our lives, if we sit in our defeat and we wallop in our defeat and we think about the defeats that we have in our life, we will never reach till tomorrow's victories and tomorrow's battles and we will never go in fresh you'll find that you'll go on a losing streak um, because you're just you're not focused on what God has placed in front of you right and you're not focused on what God is making of a situation you're instead focusing so much on something that you find is lost so Guys, I just, uh, especially as we go through this weekend and different things, just I encourage you, look forward. Look for the, the next thing from God because God's got so much more for you. Thanks for taking a minute.